Okay, so the next section we're going to follow on with is codes and fire rate assemblies. We know that codes play a major part um, when we're taking something from a mechanical format into an electrical format. The nice part is, is probably for the last 12 years or so, codes have been available for us to read for free. So if you go online, um, go to ICCSafe or NFPA.org, you can go to those two websites and you can read the codes. You can actually read international building codes. You can read the NFPA codes. With NFPA, you have to register with them. They want to kind of see who's coming on, but you can still get in and you can read all the historical codes all the way back into the 1950s and 60s and 70s time frames. But you can go to the historical codes. International building codes, you can see all the codes from basically the inception of ICC, which is going to be the late 90s time frame, all the way up to the current codes, which are adopted IBC 2021, including the mechanical codes, electrical codes, plumbing codes, and all the other codes. If you're up in Canada, you can also gain access to the codes there to read as well. So the codes are free to read. So we can't claim that we don't know what the codes are. We can't claim, you know, we don't have access to the code because the codes are free to read. On the right hand side over here, you see some of the different standards that we have to abide by while we're manufacturing our products and doing testing and certification groups that are out there to actually give us the approval to actually, you know, take our products out there and sell them. Under ours, laboratory, ANSI, BHMA, important groups which are there to help regulate most of the parts and the pieces which we're actually selling out. So the next part I really want to talk about and get into that plays a major role when we're looking at putting an electric strike on an opening is a fire rated opening. And when you're looking at a fire rate assembly, it's important to be able to understand what are we actually looking for? Understanding the code series that goes in conjunction with where we're working at. Every city, state, jurisdiction is going to have an adopted code that they go by. So we're normally going to have an international building code standard of IBC 2012, 2015, 2018. In conjunction with that, oftentimes you're going to have the NFPA codes, which are adopted with it as well. So you've got IBC codes and you're going to have NFPA codes. We've got fire rate assemblies all over the place. So you're going to have NFPA 80 dealing with the fire rate assemblies. What you can and you cannot do with the fire rate assembly is important. Recognition when we're doing our site surveys. If I'm going to take a door from a mechanical format to electrical format, what am I looking for? And it's really what we're going to be looking for is the labels, the labels that we find on the doors and the frames. A fire rate assembly actually starts with a wall. But most of the time, we're never going to see what the rating of the wall is, so we go to the frame. The frame becomes my base, the door, the hardware, everything else attached to the door are all part of the components that are part of a fire rated assembly. So we're looking for important things when we're doing our site surveys. A fire rated assembly starts with a wall, but oftentimes we can't see up above the ceiling, we can't see up above the drop ceiling. We're oftentimes not going to look up above that ceiling to kind of see what we're looking for when it comes to a fire rate assembly. So we fall back to what we can see. We can see the frame and we can see the door. Those are the most common things that we can look at and, and visibly see um, a part of, a, of, of an indication that's going to give me I have a fire rate assembly labels that we're going to find. Either it's a label or it can also be a stamp on it nowadays. So we're getting away from labels on frames and we're going to more of a stamp. Doors are going to have a label which is going to be listed on the side up here. So we're looking at a fire rate assembly. We have to go, let's go back to the wall and start there. The wall is the base of every fire rate assembly. The wall oftentimes is going to be rated for four hours or it's going to be rated for two hours. If I have a four hour rated wall, from there I go down to the frame. The frame is going to be rated a quarter less than the wall. So if I have a four hour rated wall, I'm going to have a three hour rated frame. From there, everything else is going to be rated to what the frame is. So if I have a three hour rated frame, I'm going to have a three hour rated door, a three hour rated hardware, including the locks and the hinges and the closers. Everything else will be rated to match the frame. If I have a two hour rated wall, then I'm going to have a 90 minute rated frame, a 90 minute rated door, and all the hardware attached to it will also be rated for 90 minutes as well. So remember, if I can't see the wall, then I go to my next reference, which is going to be the frame. Everything else on that opening will match what the frame rating is going to be. And, and do keep in mind, we are getting away from a label on the frame and going to more stamps. 
Um, so you want to make sure you've got to get down sometimes because oftentimes that stamp is going to be down on the hinge side of the door down towards the bottom uh, of that opening. So sometimes it's going to be hard to see, especially if you get kind of a paint or anything over the top of it. The only type of label allowed to be painted is an embossed label. An embossed label, I can basically rub my fingers over it and I can read it like braille, but that is the only type of label that is permitted to be painted. Where do we find a fire rate assembly? Key areas we're gonna find a fire rate assembly. One, a corridor. A corridor is a path of egress. If I'm in a multi-story building, that corridor is gonna lead me to a stairwell. That stairwell is gonna have a, is gonna be part of a fire rate assembly. We also find fire rate assemblies around key areas. Anything that might be considered high hazard areas, electrical rooms and some mechanical rooms, especially when you got big generators inside of them. When it comes back to an electric strike though, inspection item number 11 of a fire rate assembly is no field modifications to a fire rate assembly have been performed that will void the label. Now, this does not say we cannot cut an electric strike into the frame. What it does say is that workmanship done on it must be done professionally. However, within the codes, it does talk about who is capable of doing those, um, not only the cutting in of a strike, but also who can do the inspections of it. There are certain um, organizations that may be trained and certified by the manufacturer to actually go in and do field modifications on a fire rated assembly to actually install a strike into the frame. So there are organizations which can come out and do it. They have to be trained and certified by the manufacturer to do this type of workmanship, which means it's gotta be neat and clean. Oftentimes you may have a jurisdiction, a local building code official or someone that wants to inspect the work after it is done. You have to pull a permit for it. We know that when the work is being done, it should be tested and inspected by another party to say that the workmanship is done neat and clean. But the products we're installing have to go back and match the rating of the frame. If I've got a frame rated for three hours, the product I'm going to install has to be rated for three hours as well. I have to match what the existing frame is. I don't have a problem with, if I've got a 90 minute frame, putting in a three hour strike in the frame. I don't necessarily have a problem with it, but you want to make sure and, and work with your um, authority having jurisdiction. You know, that's gonna be a building code official, uh, uh, electrical official for access control. What are their thoughts on it? They may say, no, you need to match it. I, I kind of have been always a big fan of equal to or greater. So if I've got a 90 minute frame, can I put in a three hour rated strike? Yeah, I don't have a problem with that um, because I'm actually taking it to a higher rating. So understanding the workmanship is legally not allowed to be done by a locksmith unless we're trained and certified by the manufacturer of that opening to do that type of installation.